Hey guys, welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. Deer season 2019 episode four. Our good buddy Kirk is back in the tree self-filming, trying to get another doe on the ground. What was that? Hey guys, welcome back to Working Class. Lily, what are you doing? Who's your baby? Hey guys, welcome back. Our buddy Kirk is back in the tree again, self-filming. He don't even have his bow pulled up yet and he's already got deer all around him. Let's join him in the tree. What's up guys? Uh, weird already this evening. Uh, I come in here pretty early. You know, I probably got in the tree like 4.45. Here it is like 5.15 and I had a doe and a little one come in at like, it was probably right at 5 o'clock. Um, so I, I was still setting up, uh, getting my camera set up. in from behind me. I don't know if something spooked them off the bed or what it might have been, but, um, but they come in here pretty dang early and that they went on down the ridge and uh, was down there eating acorns and all of a sudden that blood, that doe, she started blowing at me, so, um, so it's just one of those things. I mean, it's early, you know, it's only, uh, like 520 right now and uh, I've had a few little bucks in here um, some does I just come in here yesterday and threw some more corn out um, before it rained we had a pretty good rain yesterday evening and last night so I mean that you know washed my scent away I know but I'm pretty sure that wind was blowing you know right to that doe but uh, she didn't I don't think she knows you know what was going on she didn't see me I don't I don't really think she smelled me she just something had her weird acting but I think like I said I think somebody there's houses kind of around here and I think that one somebody might have jumped them up because they come running in you know from this thick stuff behind me um, which I'll show you here in a minute kind of what I'm doing but I'm really just hunting you know there's an old grown up field behind me, you know, it's got briars and, you know, uh, pine trees and stuff all in it. Um, good place for them to be at, really. But then here where I'm hunting, there's a big acorn flat, um, kind of oak ridge that these deer, they come up through here and, you know, I got a little corn out for them, of course, but, um, but last year I killed uh, a good six point in here with my bow. And then with the rifle, I came back in here and I killed a good seven point with the rifle. So I know it's a good place. I know there's deer in here. Um, you know, with that doe blowing at me this evening, if she comes back or any other doe, I'm probably gonna shoot it. Uh, these bucks, I don't know that I'll shoot any of them or not, but we'll just have to see what happens. But, um, but I already feeling them two this, you know, first thing. But, I don't know how good the footage was, but I mean, it's, they got up on me kind of quick, so I hadn't even pulled my bow up or anything yet, so um, I got it up now, but we're going we're gonna to see what happens. I'll just sit on the end till dark. Maybe something else will, uh, will come in here. Um, the wind's not perfect, but, you know, I've showered with my lemon shield. I've sprayed down with a lemon shield, and then I've also uh, used the body foam when I got up in the tree to kind of 
kind of get some of the sweat off of it, but anyways, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to pan around kind of show y'all what I'm doing here. I'm in a climber today too, so, which is good. I like using the climber. Well, that got exciting there for a little while watching that little buck push those deer around. But Kirk's in for a real treat. He's about to get covered, slam up. Y'all check this out.
where I just smoked her butt. Golly, that was intense. I was shaking, trying to get her on camera and good footage. Oh my gosh, that was so intense. That's the only second time I've been in here this year, and I think I saw. see you know what we can do but I'm gonna sit here a little while longer because I've had some bucks coming in here too and it's still I mean I still got probably you know another 20 minutes left of light and so I mean one of these bucks might show up and I just might shoot one of them I don't know so I was gonna go down to Moore County and hunt with the rifle this evening but I'll tell you what there's nothing like shooting one with the bow man even if it is a doe, I don't care. I just enjoy it. it fires me up just as much as shooting a daggone big, big buck. Um, I mean, that's like I said, that was intense, man. Cause I had nine, like nine deer in here just then, watching me. I mean, any of them could have seen me pull back or anything. So I'm pumped with that. I mean, more meat in the freezer. You know, I got these people where I park up here. These people where I park up here, they, uh, I normally get them a little bit of meat too, so, um, so I'm happy with that, man. Tickled. Anyways, I appreciate it. Well, you know, like I said, I'm gonna keep on sitting just a little while longer. I'm gonna look at this footage, you know, where I hit this doe at, and, uh, we'll try to recover her hair in just a little bit. Alright, then, I appreciate it. Two hours later. All right, guys. So I'm about to get down here in just a few minutes. I just had another doe slipping there out in front of me. I was kind of waiting to see if maybe some of these bucks will come in. Um, but anyways, I went back, looked at the footage, and um, looked like I hit her a little far forward, but I hit her right on that shoulder pretty much. So I know I probably probably clipped her her heart, maybe some lungs. So I'm thinking she probably didn't go very far. I mean, like I said, that rage, you know, that two blade, it's like an inch and a half or two inch cut or something, I don't know. But it went all the way through her. I mean, she shouldn't be very far. Um, she kind of ran downhill a little bit, but um, I'm gonna get down here in just a little bit and, and uh, hopefully we can find her. Hopefully I can find her pretty quick. Get her on out of here. All right then. All right, guys. Here she is, um, another big doe this evening. Uh, it's October 14th, I believe it is. And um, this evening, well, I mean, it was awesome. I think I got in there, it was 75 degrees. Had a doe and little one kind of come through like not even 15 minutes after I got in the stand. I was still setting up. Um, and then, uh, you know, I was sitting there a little while longer and then I had a spike come in. And then right after, you know, maybe 15 minutes after that spike come in, I had a, had two little ones and a doe come in. And that spike, he started, you know, he started uh, rubbing a tree and then started grunting, started chasing that doe. And he run her off. And those little ones, they stayed in there. Well, probably another, you know, 15 minutes went by. And here come seven deer up the, up the hill. Uh, towards the corn, they was eating acorns and stuff as they went. Well, this big doe, she was the last one that came in. I said, you know what, I, that big doe right there, I'm gonna shoot. Cause I mean, I already had, you know, I think I had nine in there at that time, um, you know, all together. So I put a pretty, pretty good shot on her with my bow. Um, you know, and uh, that rage did its job again. Um, it's the second doe of the season so far. 
and um, you kind of see where I hit her. I don't know if you see that or not, but I uh, hit her a little far forward, but she was kind of quartering to me just a little bit, and I believe I got her heart, but um, she ran maybe 50 yards kind of downhill, and she just poured blood the whole way. Um, didn't get a lot of that on film because you know, my light wasn't too good, but anyways, we're going to get her skin up. Um, she's a big one. I mean, this doe, I don't know what she'll weigh, probably 80, 90, maybe 100 pounds, I don't know. But um, she's a big and good one to take out because, you know, it wouldn't have been long. She'd have probably busted my butt, you know, eventually. But, um, you know, I enjoy it. Uh, you know, it's just a passion of mine. And as old Rayvon would say, I'm, you know, I'm kind of working class myself. And, uh, you know, as he would say, we're, working for a living and living for the outdoors so um you know you guys follow them and everything too on youtube but um i really appreciate it all right hey kirk once again nice shooting congratulations on your second though she was a smart one she almost busted you there one time but uh your lemma shield must have helped out and you must have been being awful still she calmed down just enough to let you slip that shot in there. Hey, good job, buddy. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video of this mid-October doe hunt with our buddy Kirk Williams from Buck Ups Outdoors. Here's his, well, here's his Instagram. Go give him a follow and a like and all that stuff. Hey, like our video, subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and we'll be seeing you next time. And always remember, we're working for a living. It'll live for the outdoors. Thanks for watching.